evening. Here is the news. And it's good night from him, remembering the comic genius of Ronnie Barker, who's died aged 76. As a performer, um, as a writer, and um, as a person, really, he was just, I mean, an absolute gem. For decades, he was the funniest man on British television. Tonight, we have the glowing tributes to a much-loved legend. And the stars who worked with him tell us why Ronnie Barker was the best. Also tonight... Good evening. It is, sadly, a final good night from him. Ronnie Barker, the man whose genius helped shape the face of British comedy, has died at the age of 76. Along with his trademark glasses, he's best remembered as one half of The Two Ronnies, the hit show that ran for 16 years and whose Christmas specials were a favourite for millions of families. But it was also his roles in the hugely successful sitcoms, Porridge and Open All Hours, which turned him into one of the country's best-loved comic actors. Among the dozens of tributes to Ronnie Barker today, this from his comedy partner for so many years, Ronnie Corbett. He was pure gold in triplicate, he said, as a performer, writer and a friend. Paul Davis looks back at a life in laughter. He was a comic genius and we loved him. 18 million people used to tune in for every episode of The Two Ronnies. Good evening. I am the president of the Loyal Society for the Relief of Sufferers from Piss Pronunciation. <laughs> for people who cannot say their worms correctly. Or who use the wrong worms entirely so that other people cannot underhand the bird they are spraying. <laughs> Good evening. It's wonderful to be back with you once again, isn't it, Ronnie? Indeed it is. And it Their partnership tonight, spanned four decades. Chicken, one of the most successful in the history of comedy. Months. What about that? <laughs> Eh? Hey, hey, yes, yes, yes. And I didn't help her at all with that no, one. Did I? No, no, no. No, I, no, I got. I? Uh, no, that's the hat stamp. Oh. <laughs> Today, Ronnie Corbett led the tributes to his partner. The very best. Five star. The creme de la creme he was of as a performer and as a writer and um, as a person, really. He was just, I mean, an absolute gem. Evening, Jack, and how are you? Fine, how's yourself? Don't ask me. Huge array of, uh, of his talents and his voices and his characters. And uh, he was, you know, an encyclopedia of comedy, really. So you're talking about the very best. Trained in rep, television introduced Ronnie Barker to the mass audience. I look down on him because I am upper class. I look up to him because he is upper class. But I look down on him because he is lower class. <laughs> the Porridge series, much of which he wrote, was his favourite work. A minute. What have you men got there? Balls, Mr Mackay. <laughs> Why the different sizes? <laughs> That's life, son. <laughs> then there was open all hours all all, and Arkwright, the tight-fisted shopkeeper. Do I detect in the heart of that little embryo shopkeeper an air of bare belligerence? Yes, you do detect an air of bare, bare belligerence. <laughs> his co-star, David Jason, says Ronnie Barker was the complete master of his trade. I remember him because I always called him the governor. And because I called him the governor, because he was the best at what he did, which was comedy. And I will always remember his kindness, his generosity, his love, and the governor. And. Uh, I'm very, very sad that the governor is no longer with us. But David Jason believes Ronnie Barker's work will live on, making future generations laugh. 
That's all we've got time for this evening, so it's good night from me. And it's good night from him. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, I'm joined now by Sir David Frost, whose show, The Frost Report, saw the two Ronnie's debut performances. It's lovely to see you this evening. Such sad news, isn't Such it? Such sad news and reliving those moments there through the years. From, as you say, first meeting and working together on the, on the Frost Report and then through the two Ronnie's and on to Porridge and those things. I mean, he was a genius performer. Everyone loved him. He was just an outstanding sketch player, as is Ronnie Corbett, obviously, too. But also, of course, the thing which Ronnie Corbett mentioned there is also this thing, he, he was a terrific writer as well. I mean, he loved words. One of his passions, I always remember, was anything he could find out about or write about the Reverend Spooner, you know, the guy in <laughs> Oxford who talked about the Lord is a shoving leopard, you know, and raise your glasses to the queer old dean instead of the dear old queen and all that. And he did about four or five sketches of these, and one, one of them, for instance, he managed to take the great breakfast cereal slogan about uh, snap, crackle and pop and come out with pap, snockle and crap, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and he just loved words. So that, and I think he got into writing, actually, because he'd been lumbered with punchlines all his life that didn't work, you know. And so he thought, I'll write my own punchlines. But when he appeared with you in the 60s, did you imagine he'd become this great comic genius? Yes, I think we did. I think we all felt we'd, we were very lucky to have Ronnie Corbett, Ronnie Barker and John Cleese. And, and everybody... In fact, funnily enough, after we'd done the first series of The Frost Report, I said, these three people are stars. They must all have their own series. And no-one would do that. He said, no, they're very good with you, but... No, no. I said, no, forget about it with me. They're real stars in their own right. And in the end, I had to produce the three shows with the three of them because no-one else would take the, take the risk. Because they were obviously stars from the moment they walked stars and Ronnie in particular and with that skill with sketches uh, and that and when he when he did break up accidentally that was hilarious too I mean no we did know then I think it's rare rare you can say that that someone on their debut you know they're here to stay mm -hmm. unfortunately not here to stay it's a to quote Spooner it's a blushing crow <laughs> uh, but, uh, but he's... so David Frost thank you very much indeed thank you and later in the programme, we'll have a personal view from a fellow comedian who worked closely with Ronnie Barker throughout his career. And at 7 o'clock on the ITV News Channel, I'll be presenting a special half-hour evening news extra on Ronnie Barker featuring your choice of his top sketches. What was your favourite? Send an email to newschannel at itv.com. You can take part live too. The number to call is 0870 242 1815. Leave your views, your name and your contact number.